Located in the southernmost tip of Monterey County, Hames Valley has its own unique climate. Hames Valley sits at the foot of the San Lucia Mountains with rolling hills dotted with oak trees. Although the region does experience a cooling effect from the Pacific Ocean, its geographic location shelters the vines from the afternoon winds coming down the Salinas Valley Corridor. This gives Hames Valley a warmer climate compared to the regions to the north. The Hames Valley AVA enjoys the largest diurnal temperature change of all of the Monterey AVAs. Due to the warm days, grape growers in the region have a fine attention to vineyard row direction, trellis design, and canopy management in order to alleviate direct exposure of fruit to the sunlight. Hames Valley has enjoyed the status of its own AVA since 1994. This region has 10,000 acres suitable for grape growing with 2,000 acres currently planted. The shell loam soil found in Hames Valley, combined with its warmer weather, produces grapes with intense, bold flavors. This is an ideal setting for growing signature Rhone varietals. Hames Valley is a real special AVA. It's located in southern Monterey County, almost the southernmost part of Monterey County by San Luis Obispo. It encompasses about uh, 10,000 acres in a warm inland valley of southern Monterey County. The Hames Valley AVA uh, is adjacent to the San Antonio Valley AVA which is located to our west. And then just above us to the north is the San Lucas AVA. Those AVAs are a little bit different than ours in that they have different soil types and a little bit different weather patterns than we have in Hames Valley. Typically during the growing season, we'll see a 50 degree swing in temperature from day to night. And consequently, we get the warm temperatures in the daytime for the fruit the flavor development. And we get cool temperatures at night for the acidity and the crispness in the fruit. So we're able to fully ripen Bordeaux and Rhone varietals here to really uh, emphasize the character of those grapes. The soils here in Hames Valley are Lockwood Shaley loams. So the shale in it is a white um, rock, if you will, but that rock was formed underneath the ocean millions of years ago. We have about nine or 10 inches of rainfall a year here, so it's a fairly arid area, and the soils are uh, shaley soils that are well drained and don't hold a lot of moisture. So the soils here at Hames Valley are very unique in that they're a nice loam, a beautiful rich soil with fragments of these rocks in them, these shaley rocks. We call it chert, kind of a chalk rock if you will. Well that broken rock in the loamy soils creates little fracture lines for roots to penetrate very deeply. So you have root penetration, great drainage, and the um, background if you will for growing very productive vineyards. I think it's a combination of the, the warm daytime temperatures and the cool nighttime temperatures. That diurnal swing of 50 degrees has an awful lot to do with creating quality in these regions. Also, because we get those warm temperatures in the summertime, we can fully develop the fruit flavors. Grapevines like a little bit of stress. And so with good water drainage in the soils, they do starve for water a little bit uh, during the growing season. It's that starving for water and that stress that keeps the berry sizes from being too large. And what you like in, in concentrated red wines is a high skin to juice ratio. So smaller berries have more skin to juice in the ratio of making wines. There's a long history of agriculture that goes on in this valley clear back to the, the friars who established the missions here. And, uh, we've collected a lot of history over the years of the valley and people who farmed barley and cattle here before us. It's never been easy with the extremes of climate here, but grapes seem to be doing better here than anything else has. 